I'm going to do a video on cleaning my Jandy variable speed drive. The impeller has got some garbage in it, I'm pretty sure. My vacuum is running slow. It's not pulling too much in. First thing you want to do is you want to get all your water out of your basket right there. So in order to do that, you take the lid off, which I already did. You want to open this to let the air out. When you do, you're going to see the water rise. And it's going to go back. And close it when it's going to overflow. There you go. And you'll see it going down, so it's starting to drain back into the pool. And you'll see it going down. So Every time you open this, you'll listen to it. The water flows in. So we need to empty all the water out of this little jug right here, our filter. And it might take a little bit. Okay, so we're going to need some tools. We're going to need a long extension with a wobbly tip on the end, a number 14 socket, or a 9 16 9 16 open end. Water is almost drained out. Let's go ahead and start loosening these up. You're going to need a tiny Phillips screwdriver. This one's a P... This is a PH1. This thing has two tiny little screws. You don't want to lose them. Long ones. There's our power. Take this off. There's nothing in there. And this right here. Looks fairly clean. This looks clean. I'll shine a light down each one. Make sure they're all clear. They're all clear. There's a little something in that one, but it's just a twig. Okay, so now we'll just put it back together in re So we'll do the old inspection on it. Looks good. That's the O-ring. Okay. That looks clean. I don't see no problems down in there. So, that looks good. My impeller looks good. Oh boy. We might have an issue with uh, one of our valves not being fully open or something's plugged up somewhere. We're going to have to go into a little bit more inspection. So we're going to go ahead and uh, button this thing back up in reverse. Just make sure you get some lube on the, the O-rings to make sure you keep them in good order. Our gasket's in good condition. 
Okay, so that's one less thing we have to worry about. I installed new check valves. I'm gonna be checking these now, see what's going on with those. I got one down there and I got one up here. So that's gonna be my next check. It's inside there. It's a good tight fit. I don't see any damage. Clean that up a little bit. Yeah, that don't look bad. It's a good solid seal. So you want to make sure this o-ring is clean right here. Make sure it's not damaged. I'm going to give it a wipe. We'll put our diffuser back on. That's, it has a little tab right here that fits into a little hole there. So it lines up perfect. Boom. You don't have to put it on too tight. Got a little handle right here. Just slide it back in. There you go, you line it up with the, that diffuser inside there. That's it. So we'll put our bolts back in just to get it started. So when you tighten these up, you want to start this side here. On this, that's about two o'clock right there. And we'll come down over here on this side. That's about seven o'clock. Just, that's about seven o'clock. Just, and we'll come up here. At about 11 o'clock, come back over here, about 5 o'clock, 5 o'clock means a position right down here, and just put it up snug, come over here, we'll come down here to 8 o'clock, snug it up, So now we'll do all of them, one around, around the world. 